Hello traders, good evening. So uh, my name is Chris uh, Francisco. I'm uh, the country manager for Tech Mill Philippines and uh, I want to thank you all for um, participating in our uh, webinar for tonight. So um, we already had one last week. Uh, it's almost the same. Um, uh, we're, we will be discussing about the, the basics of the Forex market. And also at the same time, we will have um, a uh, trader and also an expert advisor expert na magsashare ng knowledge niya about uh, running expert advisors on uh, our trading. So let's start. All right, so so just a uh, quick uh, disclaimer um, from Tickmill. Tickmill does not give financial advice. If in doubt, please seek ind independent financial advice. All comments stated in this webinar uh, may not reflect the opinion of Tickmill as a company. Whilst this presentation has been prepared to the best of our knowledge, Tickmill will not be held liable for any inaccuracies or errors found in the documents. Rest warning, CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. 73% and 70% of retail investors, uh, investor accounts lose money when trading CFDs with Tickmill UK Limited and Tickmill Europe Limited respectively. You should consider whether you understand how CFDs work and whether you can afford to take the high risk of losing your money. All right. So today uh, we're going to discuss the uh, forex trading. Uh, it's a beginner's guide. So um, pag-usapan natin yung pinaka uh, simula ng trading. Uh, what are the things that we need to understand bago tayo pumasok sa forex trading? So we will uh, discuss the common forex trading terminologies, types of forex analysis, and uh, how to start trading in the forex market. We will also uh, discuss ways to earn in the forex market. All right, first, what is forex? So a lot of you uh, may have encountered um, this. So basically, forex is a shortcut for Foreign exchange currency, uh, foreign exchange uh, currency trading, and um, FX market. So, dito um, we buy and sell foreign currencies. So, the buying and selling doesn't happen physically. Um, katulad ng kapag nasa money changer kayo, it happens um, online. So, it, once you have a platform and um, it's funded, then you can start trading in the forex market. Next, um, Forex is the largest market in the world. So just a uh, quick comparison, average global daily trading volume is um, 5.1 trillion so Forex market, whereas uh, uh, stock market, it's at 212 billion. So ganyan po ka, kalaki ang, uh, ang Forex if you compare it to the stock market. So stock market is in trillion. Uh, sorry, in billion, pero si Forex, trillion siya kasi it's global decentralized market. So anyone with an access to internet and a broker can be a participant in the Forex market. All right, next. So how does it work? Paano ba tayo magsastart mag-trade? Uh, ano ba yung kailangan? So let's set an example. Uh, for example, you're traveling. So... Um, if you're traveling locally in the Philippines, syempre, no, you, you just need to have um, peso, tapos okay na, you can start um, traveling na. Pero what if you're traveling abroad? Uh, you need um, money to be able to travel. So if you bring your peso, your Philippine peso, it, it won't be as uh, good kasi you have to use yung local currency kung saan ka man pupunta. So, for example, you're going to the US. So, um, you need to have 
US dollar, not Philippine peso when you're in the US. Kasi yung pera natin is hindi mo magagamit doon. So for example, you're traveling to the United States and at the uh, current rate is at 50. So in order for you to have $1,000, you need to give the, the money changer or the bank 50,000 pesos so they can change your uh, money into $1,000. So now after one year, sabi natin, when you came back, you haven't spent the the $1,000. Um, ang ginawa mo ngayon, bumalik ka sa, sa pinagpalitan mo, let's say a money changer. So nung nagpapalit ka, ang rate is binili mo ng 50 per dollar, pero nung pagbalik mo, naging 52 na siya. So there was a change in the uh, value of the currency. So yung $1,000 mo nung ipinalit mo, naging 52,000 na siya. Okay? So nagbago yung value. And that gave you a profit of 2,000 pesos. So that's the, the basic um, forex trading. All right. So sa, sa Tickmill, you will do it online uh, just with a platform that we call MetaTrader 4. Okay. Next. Now, um, there are some questions. No? Um, I'm, I'm, why do I need to trade forex? Uh, what's in it for me? So there are several reasons. Uh, first is the high liquidity. So liquidity describes to the extent uh, which an asset can be bought and sold quickly at a stable price and converted to cash. So dito, uh, it's very liquid na madali lang uh, mag-buy and sell. And if you want to, let's say, withdraw, you earn a profit. Today, um, gusto may withdraw, that's fine. If uh, you have an EA um, working on your uh, platform and say for example nag earn siya ng $20 today uh, right after na close yung trade you can uh, withdraw it all right so another reason is 24 by 5 market so um ano ba yung magandang uh, dahilan uh, what's in it for us again so 24 by 5 market um ibig sabihin uh, if Say, for example, nagtatrabaho kayo or you have other uh, things na ginagawa. Siyempre, most of us naman, uh, not everyone is binig may pera lang tapos gustong mag-trade. So, lahat tayo, possible may ginagawa pang ibang bagay. So, ang maganda sa Forex market is you can find a perfect time for you to trade. Unlike sa stock market, wherein there's, it starts from 9 a.m. hanggang 1 p.m., so if nag-work ka during those hours, it will be hard for you to trade in the market. Pero kung uh, sa Forex, let's say after mag-out sa work, you can start trading. So that's one good feature then. Kasi any time of the day, if you're a night owl, pwede ka rin sa gabi mag-trade. Kasi maganda din mag-trade sa gabi kasi lahat ng market is open na. Okay, next. Uh, ito na nga. Uh, when is the best time to trade? Uh, we have different um, sessions. So we have the New York, London, Tokyo, and uh, Sydney. So Sydney opens at 5 a.m. Tokyo market opens at 7 a.m. Um, London market opens at 4 p.m. This is our time, Manila time, or Philippine Standard Time. And New York market opens at 9 p.m. So pag tinanong ka, uh, Miss Christina, Ano po ba kaya yung oras na pwede akong mag-trade? Kasi meron akong 8 to 5 na trabaho. Actually, perfect yun. If you have an 8 to 5 job, pag out mo, um, itong si London Market at saka itong si New York Market, pag nag-meet na sila, this is the perfect time to trade. Kasi mas active na yung market. Unlike at around 5 a.m., hindi pa siya masyadong magalaw. So wala pang uh, masyadong direction yung market, hindi mo pa makikita. Pero itong time na to, this is the best time. Sabi nga nila tayo mga taga-Asian, Southeast Asia, is very lucky kasi lahat ng market na to naaabutan natin na bukas. Alright? By the way, if, guys, if you have any questions, we have a uh, chat box. Where you, call, uh, you can also raise your hand para masagot natin yung mga questions nyo. Um, at any time. Okay? Next. Um, there are a lot of currency pairs to be traded, but these are the major currency. We have the, um, actually lahat ito, kung mapapansin nyo, ang pinaka-common is my US dollar. 
So lahat yan, i-pair mo lang kay US dollar. These are the major currency pairs. So Euro USD, New Zealand dollar, uh, USD JPY, Australian dollar and US dollar, um, Great British Pound and US dollar, uh, US dollar and Swiss franc, at saka si US dollar in Canadian dollar. So meron din naman tayong tinatawag na mga cross currency pairs. So you just have to match Euro, JPY, Japanese yen, GBP, uh, Canadian dollar, Australian dollar. I-mix and, uh, and match na lang sila. So Euro, GBP, Euro, CHF. We have CHF, JPY, or JPY. So these are the cross currency pairs. And we also have the exotic pairs. These uh, pairs, uh, medyo malalaki yung spread nila kasi they're not as heavily traded as the, the major pairs. Okay. Right, next. Um, another reason is the high volatility. Kanina nabanggit natin na it's very liquid. It's also very volatile. Profits can be earned within a shorter period of time. And when we say shorter period of time, we're talking about seconds. We're not talking about days, but we're talking about, uh, about seconds. So, I will show you um, a uh, sample. So, medyo hinaan nyo lang yung volume kasi medyo malakas yung video. This is a sample of how fast this uh, market works. Okay? Sabi nga ni Albert Einstein, you have to learn the rules of the game and then you have to play better than anyone else. All right. So, maputol siya. Ah, oh, okay. No audio. Ah, okay. Actually, sound lang naman yun. Uh, okay. Sound lang naman siya, but it, it's just showing how it works. So... All right there. So nakita nyo naman na um, diba at a very short period of time, mabilis kayong kumita. Let's say uh, nag, you can earn more than $2,000 in just a very short period of time. So sa, sa atin, that's already around $100,000, diba? Sobrang uh, laki niya. But of course, this market um, comes with a risk and that's... Um, what we should uh, properly manage. And by the way, about risk management, we have another um, webinar on the 28th of July at 4 p.m. We will discuss about proper risk management in trading. Okay. So next, uh, leverage trading. 
So, limited trading, this means you can trade more with less. So, ibig sabihin, um, you, with your leverage, you can deposit small amount and can have a buying power of uh, this much. Okay, so that's leverage. Next, you can profit in both uh, bullish and bearish market. So, dito, um, because if you compare it to the stock market, uh, say for example, for the Philippine stock market, kapag bumili ka ng uh, Jollibee shares ngayon, uh, kailangan mag-appreciate yung value ni Jollibee or ni JFC para ka kumita. Uh, if your buying price is at 140, dapat tumaas siya mag-143, 45, 150 bago ka mag-start mag -start kumita. But in forex trading, you, only, uh, you have both uh, bullish and bearish. So, bullish, ito yung uh, the bull. So, pag nag ka sa sila, pataas. So, the market is going up when you say bullish market. And if it's bearish market, pag nag naman sila, pababa. So, the market is going down. Okay. Next. Um, another thing is ease of access. So, for ease of access, uh, very simple. All you need to, to have is um, a laptop, a smartphone. Uh, you can trade all across all devices, desktop, uh, laptop, smartphone. Basta may internet ka, you can trade. So if you're chilling at the beach or you're at the top of the mountain, walang problema. Basta may internet connection ka, uh, you can trade anytime, anywhere. Okay? Next, sino nga ba yung uh, mga participant ng Forex? Sino 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 ba sila? So we have a lot of uh, participants in the Forex market. We have central banks. Um, we're not talking about just our central bank, the BSP, but we're also talking about uh, huge central banks like the European Central Bank and uh, central banks ng United States. Uh, commercial banks are also participants, so malalaking uh, banks so and even ours like BDO, BPI, those are participants in the Forex. We also have multinational companies, fund managers, and this is us, retail traders. So uh, right now, since yung uh, technology, uh, marami na pong mga retail traders na nag-trade. Uh, Actually, in, the, in other countries, matagal na sila nag-trade sa Forex. Sa Philippines, I'm really, really glad na uh, nakapag-start na siya. Uh, I actually started in the forex market way back 2015. Um, hindi pa ganun karami ang nag-trade. Pero ngayon nakakatawa kasi marami ng mga Pilipino ang nakaka-alam or nagiging aware uh, how uh, forex market works. And uh, a lot of them are also interested uh, how they can trade. And uh, yun nga, marami na rin ways to earn, not just by, by manually trading, but also um, by using robots or expert advisors. Uh, later on, i-discuss natin yan. We have an expert to help us out uh, na mas maintindihan yun. Um, Alright? So next, what is a forex broker? So si Tickmill, Tickmill is a forex broker. So ano bang papel ng, uh, ng forex broker in your trading. Of course, uh, Tickmill provides you the access sa forex market. It gives you the platform, which is MetaTrader 4. Uh, it gives you the platform para makapag-trade ka. Without a broker, you won't be able to trade. There's actually tons of brokers out there, but this one, Tickmill, um, it's the, the cheapest cost or uh, the lowest cost forex broker na makikilala nyo. Um, yung spread niya, even the classic account, if you compare it to other brokers, mas malait pa rin. So the, the conditions, um, trading conditions are excellent. Um, withdrawals and deposit, mabilis din po. I, I have a lot of clients um, from other brokers. They're very happy that they transferred to Tickmill kasi nga, mabilis yung mga transaction. Okay? Next, um, so there are some common forex uh, trading terminologies. So we have um, long and uh, short or buy and sell, uh, leverage and margin, pip and points, or lot, bid and ask, and spread. So one by one, pag-usapan natin ano ba yan and why is it important. 
uh, in your trading. So first, long and short or buy and sell. When you say I'm long on Euro USD, meaning you are buying. So you believe price can go higher and you place a trade at a lower price and will make money as the price moves higher. So if this is your selling price and nag move up the market, then voila, that's profit for you. Okay? So yung other term naman is short or sell. So sell means going short. You believe price will fall. You place a trade at a higher price and will make money as the price moves lower. So if this is your sell price and it goes down even lower than that, then you will make money. All right. Next, leverage. So kanina nabagget na natin si leverage. It's the ability to trade at a scale that is much larger than the funds available in the trader's account. So with the leverage, uh, it enables you to trade more. So, ayun uh, nga lang, uh, it comes with the risk. Uh, babanggatin ko ulit. Uh, it comes with the risk. So, you, we, you have to manage it properly. And siguro, for, for new traders, uh, greed is the number one na, uh, that will make you lose. Greed and emotions. So, those are the things that you will have to manage. And hopefully, by, by next week, you will be able to, to join our uh, webinar for that. Alright? Next, uh, margin. So margin is the minimum amount that a trader must deposit into the trading account to start trading. So margin, ito ba yung, ito yung uh, kailangan mo before you can open up, open a trade. So that's what we call margin. Next is PIP, P-I-P. That's percentage in point. It's the unit of measurement used by traders to show the change in value between currency pairs. Fourth, decimal place in the currency pairs and second decimal place for yen pair. So, uh, Tickmill is five digit siya na broker. So, the one pip is bilang ka from this um, decimal. So, one, two, three, four. So, tong three, dito ka start. So, if nag-move siya ng one pip, ibig sabi one pip up, so from 1.13631 nagmove ng 1 pip that will be 1.13641 that is 1 pip movement. Ngayon if you're looking at uh Japanese yen pairs or gold the 1 pip ang bilang mo ng 1 pip is the second value from the decimal. Okay? I hope um, everything is clear so far. Okay. So next, um, we have the lot. Or lot size, pwede din siyang volume. This one. Pwede din siyang volume. So the standard lot, it's 1.00. So sa platform niya sa MT4, ang ilalagay niya is 1.00. So pag sinabi niyong nag-trade ako ng one lot, that's um, trading 100,000 100, units. And the pip value is ten dollars per pip. Unit, ah, uh, units. It's kung gaano ng uh, karami ba na units yung tinitrade mo. Siguro pinakamadaling uh, example is per, uh, merong kang manggahan. Tapos gusto mong umani kayo at gusto mong mag uh, pag trader benta mo yung yung manggahan. Pag palagay mo na na one lot is 100,000 na kaing ng mangga. Okay? So that's unit. Gaano karami bang uh, assets? So that's 100,000 units. Kung yun nga, kung may manggahan ka, that's trading 100,000 na kaing ng mangga. So I hope uh, everyone is familiar with the term kaing. Okay? So um, alright. Next is the mini lot. So that's 10,000 units. Ang ilalagay nyo sa platform is 0.10. At ang pip value niya per, uh, per pip movement is $1. So that's 10,000 units. Micro lot, that's 1,000 units. Ang uh, volume is 0 0.01. Ang dollar value is 0.10 cents per pip movement. Uh, nano lot applies 
per per cents account which we don't have uh, 100 units tapos ang uh, ang volume niya is 0 0.001 tapos ang value niya per pip is 0 0.01 okay next so we have the bid and ask so the bid and ask is the price bid is the the price forex trader is willing to sell a currency pair for as as is the price a trader will buy a currency pair at so uh, for example bid price ito po si bid price 1.1051 na tapos ito naman um si si as price ibig sabihin kung gusto mong bumili ng 1 euro kailangan meron kang 1000 Ah, uh, sorry, 1.1053 US dollar para magkaroon ka ng 1 euro. So, si, itong si first currency, ang value, lagi siyang 1. So, 1 euro is equal to, let's say, 1.1053. Kahit anong currency pair pa yan, kung sabihin natin, USD, JPY yan. Yan, JPY. So, si US, 1 US dollar is equivalent to whichever, um, you can susundan si US GPO, but whichever the exchange. Ngayon. Okay, so this is the base currency. Lagi lang tatandaan, yung pinakaunang um, asset is the base. And the, the second is the counter currency or the quote currency. Okay. Next. Um, if if my questions, just um, raise your hand or let me know sa sa chat box. Okay, so this is uh, the spread. So ano pa to? Ito ba yung palaman sa tinapay? No, it's not. The spread is the um, difference of bid and ask. So ito yung nasa gitna. So itong spread ang ating trading cost na binabayaran sa broker. So Okay, if Miss Christine, you say na si spread ang binabayaran, eh bakit sinasabi niyo sa Tikmil merong pro na 0.0? .0? So paano 'yon? So for for pro accounts, um we have zero spread mostly for major pairs. Meron tayong commission na tinatawag. So 'yon. So then po kumikita si si Tikmil. All right. So any uh, questions? Clear naman. Uh, I hope it's clear for everyone. Okay, next. Okay, no questions? Okay. Ang commission, yes po, Miss uh, Simone. Ang commission po ba? Putol yung question. Ay isang amount lang. Ah, okay. For take meal, um, it's 4 euro per one lot. So kahit anong uh, currency, currency pair yan, it's 4 euro per one lot. So 1.00 na trade you pay for uh, 4 euro. Okay, next. So uh, let's discuss briefly the types of forex analysis. Kasi when you know the base, of the forex trading, syempre, di ba, hindi naman tayo manguhula lang dito. Ay, mukhang, mukhang pataas siya. Ay, mukhang pababa. Makapag-buy nga or makapag-sell nga. That's not how it works. We have uh, what we call analysis that will help us decide. Di ba? Kung baga, intelligent guess. Oh, joke. Um, to, it will help us decide kung ano ba yung magiging position natin sa market. So, we have three uh, basic types of forex market analysis. We have fundamental, we have technical analysis, and we have sentiment analysis. So, uh, each and every one, importante siya, no? Kasi kung itong upuan na to is kulang ng isa, pwedeng mabuwal siya or matumba lang. So, they, they are correlated, but some traders, they only look at technical analysis. Some only check the fundamentals. But it's up to you kung ano po yung mas magiging comfortable kayo then uh, you can do it. Kasi in, in trading, you can explore eh. Hindi naman po, ibig sabihin na yung diskarte nung isa is mag-work para sa inyo. Eh, depende. Depende sa availability mo sa pag-trade. Depende sa capital mo sa pag-trade. Okay? So, 
Si fundamental analysis, it's a way of looking at the forex market by analyzing economic, social, and political forces that may affect the supply and demand of an asset. So dito, you're looking at uh, GDP data, interest rates, product price index, retail sales, non-farm payroll, industrial production, trade balance, and uh, employment data, and uh, CPI. These are the, the high impact news events. And um, paano nyo ngayon malalaman if it's high impact? Of course, um, you, there is a tool. In TickMill, we have the tools. Uh, we have the economic calendar. So dito kayo titingin kung ano ba yung mga uh, data na paparating. So you can set it at our local time. Tapos nakalagay naman kung high impact, medium, low impact. So nakita naman. So mostly traders look look at the, the high impact news. Like this, oh, PMI. Okay, so um, always remember for um, if the currency, sa currency pair, yung currency with weak economy, sila yung most likely pabagsak. Okay, the currency value drops. And the currency pair with the stronger economy, sila yung pataas. Currency value grows. Okay. So in the chart, see, let's say for Euro USD, if si Euro mas malakas siya versus US dollar, ang chart ni Euro pataas. Kasi mas malakas siya eh. Pero kung si US dollar yung mas malakas against Euro, uh, pababa naman siya. Pababa yung chart mo. All right. So next Technical analysis. So what is Forex technical analysis? It involves looking at patterns in price history to determine the higher probability, time and place to enter a trade and exit a trade. As a result, um, technical analysis in Forex is one of the most uh, widely used type of analysis. So dito, very uh, simple. You're looking at, you don't, uh, you're looking at the price action. So, ano bang nangyayari? You're looking at the uh, the candlestick. Kung ano ba yung mga uh, patterns na finoform nila? Ano ba yung trend nila? Is it uh, going up or going down? So, so, we have the bullish trend and the bearish trend. Um, bullish trend or uh, may mga reverser candles ba na lumalabas? Or may pattern ba na double bottom? So, this is double bottom. Um, ano ba yung ibig sabihin if nag-appear sa double bottom? So, uh, that's uh, for technical analysis and uh, we can have uh, future discussions uh, on technical analysis. Okay, so, but that's the, the basic uh, or basic explanation for technical analysis. Alright, next is sentiment analysis. It's another widely popular form of analysis. When you see sentiment overwhelmingly positioned to one direction, this means the vast majority of traders are already committed to that position. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, um, ito yung ilang, uh, how many traders are positioned sa, sa buy or sa long or sa short. It's mostly sentiment of the traders. So, nakikita naman natin siya, um, uh, I think in investing.com, nakikita nyo siya, yung mga sentiment. And uh, even in Forex Factory. So, marami namang websites for that. Alright. Um, any questions? Okay. So, if wala po tayong uh, questions, uh, okay. I will uh, turn you over brief uh, to our um, at another presenter. So, this person po has been in the industry longer than I have been. Um, he's been working with uh, different types of brokers and I'm, I'm very lucky na he also decide, uh, decided to work with uh, TechMill. So he's been a trader and also a creator and provider of expert advisor. So he will tell you briefly kung ano ba yung expert advisor and kung paano siya makakatulong sa trading nyo. Um, and I've known him for, for uh, some time na din. So hindi ko napapahabain. I, I will introduce Sir Alex Uy para tulungan tayong intindihin kung ano ba ang uh, Forex EA. Okay, so Sir Alex.
Yes, thank you, Christina. Good evening, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so first of all, kindly like my page, Lexus Forex Automated Trading, sa FB. Okay, and thank you for coming this evening, and I hope you will enjoy and di pa masasayang yung oras nyo tonight. Okay, um, so let's proceed. So, kamusta naman everybody? Are you are you okay? Are you at home? At work? At home, sir. <laughs> at home? Okay. Yung mga audience natin, taga saan po ba sila? Can you chat in your chat box? Where are you watching us? Taga saan po kayo? Try type ata sila, sir. <laughs> kayo, ma'am, nasan po kayo? Laguna. Gens we have one from Jensen. Ako po nasa Laguna. Okay. Yung isa from Jensen, sir. Mm -mm. Ako po nandito po sa Pampanga, sa north naman. May, oh, may mas far north pa, Baguio. Baguio nga. And we have one from Makati. PR. Ayan. So we can do this business or trading anywhere we are in the world. Basta may internet yes. lang tayo, right? So I'm your educator tonight, Alex Uy. You can call me Alex. Okay, an auto trading expert kasi dito po ako nag-focus sa forex trading ko. So yan po ako. And I created my academy, Lexus Forex, teaching people how to do automated trading using EA and other software tools, okay? So, more about me, since may, may mga participants tayo na ngayon lang po ako na-meet. So, I'm an IT, IT by profession. I graduated from Mapua University. And I am an, a master IB of various forex brokers, as mentioned by Chris. And I am a former software engineer. That's my first job, an IT, okay, programmer. And after that, I just worked for one and a half year. I pursue business na. So since nasa lahi namin ng business, Chinese, so yun po, nag-business po ako. Since mas malaki po talaga kikitain sa business. Okay? And ito po yung first venture ko, The Generics Pharmacy. It's now been 13 years running until today. So franchise po ito. And my past businesses are Mang Inasal Franchise. Nag-franchise kami ng milk tea. I own before a laundry shop and a Korean restaurant. Okay? So these past businesses, wala na po. So due to competition or hindi ganong kaganda yung market. So either binenta or sinara ko na. Okay? Ganun po ka hirap po ng business sa Philippines. Okay? There's no guarantee rin sa business. Kahit Mang Inasal pa yan. Okay? Forex trader and investor for about six years na. Ang tagal na po ako dito sa industry. Ang dami na rin po mga nasalihang mga companies na nagbibigay ng mga returns, di ba? Na, na nawawala rin. Baka nakaka-relate po kayo dyan sa mga ganyan, mga na-scam na tayo dahil mahilig tayo mag-invest, invest, right? At sinasabi na tinetrade po ang pera natin sa Forex. Kaya right now, I'm very... Yan yung advocacy ko ngayon to teach people ano ba yung totoong trading. Okay? So, talaga meron po tayong account na nakapangalan sa atin. Meron po tong trading history. At ini-email po ang transaction ng broker every day. Okay? So, my hobby right now is just collecting forex software kasi sa sobrang dami ng uh, trading robots. Okay? Uh, every week, maraming bago po. Okay? So na tumatalino po yung mga software po natin. Okay? And may mga times na may mga trader akong kakilala na nagpapat-program sa akin ng mga strategy nila. Okay? I am married with one son. So I am based here in San Fernando, Pampanga. So why would you listen to me? Why not other educator? Why not other forex trader? Uh, other expert? Okay? So this is my, ito po yung aking uh, educational career po sa forex trading. So nag-invest po talaga ako sa learning. Okay? Since since 2014 I enrolled kay Sir Mark so. 
So during that time, okay, my business na ako, stable na ako. So I had extra money to invest in trading. So kaya ako nakilala si Forex Trading at nakilala si Sir Mark. So, so up to until today, he is still teaching Forex Trading. 30,000 po yung tuition fee dyan. And then um, after two years, three years, I met Joel Tagal who is doing automated trading. So EA na. So ma mahal po yung pag-enroll sa kanya, 80,000 pesos, including na po yung mga software po niya. Alright? So I also uh, undergo learn to trade kay Greg Secker, sa company ni Greg Secker, kasi meron daw silang indicator or uh, EA na mag-trade, mag magpipindot ka na lang buy and sell, and yung software na bahala mag-trade para sa'yo. Okay? So medyo mahal, international company po ito, Okay? Yung smart chart, yung software, mahal po yun. 8,000 a month ang subscription. Okay? And also, right now, I'm still a student. Okay? Sa isang trading, uh, international trading ka, company, mastermind trading system, kay Sean naman to. Mura lang po singil niya. Kasi, milyonaro na po siya. Hindi na po niya kailangan magsingil pa ng mahal sa estudyante niya. Okay? So, advocacy niya na one time fee lang, you can talk to him lifetime. Ayan. Ang ganda po nung program ni Sean. So I already bought more than 500 softwares, okay, since my six years here in Forex Trading. Ang dami ko na po nasubukan. Ang dami na rin po na, na, na mga lessons na, na natalo yung pera ko, nanalo, natalo, nanalo, natalo. Ganun, dami po experience na ganun. And right now, a member po ako ng RB Star 2.0, also a supplier of EA. So worth 300,000, lahat ng software nagagamit ko po sa kanila. Okay? Former marketer of economy, yung company na economy, who is also selling so EA, I grew my team nationwide about 300 plus. Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. So, binibenta namin yung EA about 13,000 pesos and a monthly fee of 8,000 pesos. Okay? So, total life investment on my Forex learning is more than 1 million na po. Okay? So, that's why... Um, Yun nga, um, you can trust me and listen to me kung anong po yung mga pwede kong i-offer, lalo na po yung mga baguhan, okay? So I, I won't give you strategies na nakatakot, okay? So kailangan yung ma-appreciate nyo and lalo na ngayon, pandemic, na we want to earn extra income or yung iba walang income ngayon, ito na yung pwede nilang main income, forex trading. So these are the reasons why I choose forex trading as my business or my investment. Okay? So number one, wala pong tayong binabayarang rent dito or office sa forex trading. You only need your mobile phone, your laptop, pwede ka na mag-trade. Okay? And you don't have any employees to maintain or pay. Unlike yung mang, may mga inasal ko, ang empleyado ko po 20. Ang payroll ko, 200,000 per month. Okay? Here, you don't have any utilities to pay. Electric bill sa isang restaurant, 80,000, 100,000. So, sa forex trading, wala ka na rin pong babayarang matataas na kuryente. No inventories to maintain. So, wala ka pong masisirang produkto. Yan po, pag nag-business po, lalo na pag food, ang bilis pong masira niyan. Okay? So, you don't need any products to sell here. Okay? So, ayun, kung ikaw yung tao na hindi ka mahilig magbenta, okay? Kasi ako, na, na, naka-join ako ng mga MLM companies that kailangan mo magbenta ka para kumita ka, right? Kasi kung di ka makabenta, di ka makikita. So, dito, hindi mo na kailangan yung gawin. There's no competition rin, okay? Kapag tinabihan ka ng competitor mo, may, may business ka, traditional business, uh, sanggyupsal, tinabihan ka ng mas kilalang sanggyupsal, eh di talo ka na. Eh magkano yung invest mo sa isang restaurant? 3 million, 4 million. Okay? Taxes is are optional since in the Philippines this, this um, forex trading is not deregulated. Okay? So it is optional for us to declare our income in forex trading. You don't need any high capital here. For as low as $100, 5,000 pesos, you can trade na eh, Right? Minimum to minimum age is 18 years old or basta may ID ka and proof of billing, you can already start trading and deposit any pen and withdraw anytime. Yan na po napakagandang feature. Bakit po tayo na trade or mag-venture sa forex trading? You can 
deposit or start anytime you want. Either today, next year, next month, it's up to you. Withdraw anytime. Kung ayaw mo na, kunin mo. Pag hinayaan mo yung pera mo dyan, safe naman yan kasi regulated yung broker na nilagyan mo ng pera. Okay? So how to generate passive as a forex trader? Okay? So yan po yung aking forte, passive income. Okay? Na hindi ko na kailangan mag-push ng button either buy or sell sa aking cellphone or laptop. Hindi na po ako mag-analyze po ng chart. Okay? I don't need to check the news. Okay? So totally... 100% hands-free. Yun po yung aking um, gustong mangyari sa aking mga traders. Okay? So, uh, isa doon, yung um, tinuturo kong expert advice or algorithmic trading na tinatawag natin, this is one of the fastest way that you can earn passive income in forex trading. Okay? You will be buying a software in the internet kung binigay may mga free rin na EA. And then this software, kailangan nyo pong iset up or configure, okay? Para mag-work po ito sa account ninyo. So may training po dyan. One whole day po ako nagtitraining po dyan, hands-on. So when you buy a software, this software are programmed dun sa strategy kung saan siya nakadesign. Kung pang-trade lang po siya ng Euro USD, dun mo lang po siya itetrade. Huwag mo siya itetrade sa iba, Okay? Yan ang pagkakapalit ng mga ibang mga trader na masyadong curious o masyadong metikuloso, maraming tinatry. Sa umpisa, kumikita, and then matatalo na. Okay? So ayaw po natin mangyari. Yun, you have to stick kung ano po yung nakasabi or ano po, saan po siya nakadesign. Okay? It is the goal of every EA to increase your portfolio or money in the process. Wala naman po nag-develop ng robot or software para patalunin yung pera mo. Okay? Alam nyo ba, pag gumawa po ng EA, minsan buwan o taon po yan dinedevelop. Okay? Hindi po biro gumawa ng isang EA kasi syempre itetest po niyan sa back test, sa, sa history. Okay? And the forward test. Okay? Kailangan nyo lang po alamin paano ba to i-configure. This is very advantage, lalo na pag yung mga manual trader may, may proven strategy na at gusto ni automate yung strategy niya, napaka-perfect po ang automated trading. Siyempre, tayo po ito matanda. Siyempre, yung mata natin lumalabo. Pero pag nagmamanual trading ka, kailangan malinaw mata mo, di ba? So, kung may strategy ka ng sanay ka na and you want to automate, I can help you with that. Okay? So, I have a video about Forex Robot. Di hata dito marinig na. So, I'll just play ito. Wala pong audio, sir. What is a Forex robot? Forex robot, also known as expert advisors, are software that works in the MetaTrader platform. Forex robots provide an exciting way of earning profits in the online Forex market. Forex robots will save you time and money. Current automatic trading technologies have made trading easier, less risky, and increased the chances of better performances. Yes, we believe they work, but only if you follow some rules which apply for automated trading. Enroll today to learn automated trading.
Hello, sir. Hello, yes. Narinig Ayan, niyo ba? Ayan, nawala ko yung audio. Okay. So I'm going to introduce to you Forex software that I'm using, lalo na is hindi po siya natalo during pandemic or COVID. Diba? Kasi yung market is changing every year. Lalo na ngayon, eh, COVID, iba naman ang galaw ng market. Diba? May times na medyo erratic yung movement ng currency pair and medyo hindi po ito nangyari before. Right? So itong, itong mga software na to is not na try during pandemic na kumikita po siya. Okay? And ang win rate nito is about 76 to 87%. Mataas po ang win rate niya. So kumita po itong software na to 8,000 in 15 days for a capital of 30,000 pesos. Okay, more than 20% ang kinuha ng nangyari profit. So, ito naman is a software not designed only for Euro USD. Again, also this software has been profitable during pandemic. Okay? So, okay po siya, hindi po siya natalo. Yung ibang software baka natalo sa Euro USD, di ba? So, ang win rate niya, 74 to 74%. Okay? So, kumita po siya ng around ito, 22,000 pesos in 90 days. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, in $500 account or 25,000, okay, you can double it in 100 days. Okay? 100% hands-free. Wala ka na pong gagawin. Okay? Yan po yung aking, um, ang, ang aking advocacy sa mga traders na kikip, pwede naman kayo kumita ng gamit ng software na hindi ka na mag-trade. Yun nga lang, conservatively, 10% a month, 20% a month. Yun yung, yung iba kasi, kaya gusto nilang forex trading kasi dito po possible yung may 500%, 1,000% gain. Okay? So ako, hindi ako after sa ganon. Kasi Chinese nga ako eh. Diba? Konting kita, masaya na. Okay? Tinan mo naman ang, ang, ang tinitik niyang profit. 0.50 cents dollar, 1 dollar. Okay? Maliliit po. Okay? So bonus is for, for you guys or yung sa gamit po yung tick mill, I'm offering this free usage. Ibig sabihin, i-attach ko po yung software sa account ninyo. O deposit lang po kayo ng 500 dollar or 25,000 pesos. Okay? So, just connect your MT4 to your IB. I-assist po kayo ni Miss Chris dito para i-connect yung account ninyo sa akin. And then, you will be sending me yung account ninyo para i-attach yung software. Okay? So, wala po tong lock-in, wala po tong profit sharing fee. Okay? So, lahat kung magkano kikitain dito weekly, pag kumita tong $50, you can withdraw na. Okay? So another system that I'm using or I'm endorsing right now, okay, lalo na ngayon hindi ako pwede mag-training ng hands-on ng mga EA, is dito po talaga ko sila nilalagay sa copy trading po. Okay? Lalo na po yung mga tao, wala talagang oras mag-trade or ayaw, ayaw, ayaw mag-trade pero gusto lang kumita. Okay? Meron palang ganun, no? Ayaw mag-trade pero gusto lang kumita sa Forex. So it, ito po yung services na binibigay in, or binibigay ko or sinasuggest sa mga investor na yon. So copy trading you will you will be selecting a copy trade master copy trader. Big sabihin meron ka pong mga master trader na pipiliin and then kung ano yung napili mo lahat ng trades niya it will be copied to you. Okay? So napa, napaka simple lang po niya. Pag deposit ka lang and then yung ko-connect yung account mo sa napili mong master copy trader and then wala. Antayin mo na lang kumita yung account mo. Ang maganda dito, you can adjust din yung risk nito. Hindi niya pwedeng ubusin yung account mo, okay? 30% risk, 50% stop na. We can do that, okay? Zero effort, wait and earn strategy. Okay? So this is how the Forex Copy Trade software works. Okay, my master copy trade account tayo and then it will be sent, the trades will be sent to you. Okay, so pwede rin mag-copy ng maraming traders sa isang account kung malaki yung equity mo. But I suggest one strategy per account. Okay, mas okay po yung ganun. At least po yung performance is ma-verify ma ninyo. Okay, sino ang mas profitable na copy trader? 
So, okay. So, in, itong ini-endorse ko is not just an ordinary copy trader account. Okay? These are Forex millionaires na kumita na ng at least 1 million pesos or at least malaking halaga sa Forex trading. And he has a track record of not less than 6 months. Kailangan 1 year or 2 years pa ma mas maganda. Okay? Para ma masabi natin na pwede natin ipagkatiwala ang pera nating 100,000, 200,000 or even million dito sa copy trader. Okay? So this copy millionaire one has profited 1.5 million pesos since he started August 2018. Okay? So 2018, 2019, 2020, magto 2 years na po siya by August next month. Okay? So nagkapag-gain na po siya ng 34,673%. So, magkano ba siya kumikita every month? He has been averaging to gain about 20 to 25% a month since August 2018. Okay? So, this July, medyo mahina siya, 5% pa lang. Ayan. Last week pala yun. So, this week, kumita na ng 9.5%. Okay? Ang equity po niya, 6,000 US dollar or around 320,000 pe 320, pesos. Okay? So, siyempre, iingatan niya yung account niya. Hindi niya basta patatulunin. Diba? Yung sa'yo, ikaw ay nag-expose lang ng 25,000 at yung mga signals sa, sa, sa trades niya or account niya is mapupunta sa'yo automatically. Okay? Ganun po kaganda yung technology po ngayon. So, this copy millionaire one averages 0.08% 2.85% daily profit. Okay? So, maliliit lang po yung daily profit po niya. Hindi po siya nagtatarget ng 5% a day, 10% a day, or even 20% a day. Okay? Kasi po, when you target a big percentage, you will be also risking a big percentage. ba? Leverage trading is also very risky kapag hindi mo to ginawa ng maayos. Okay? So, copy millionaire to kumita na po ng 7,300,000 pesos. He started June 2018. Okay, so more than two, two years na po siya. Yung account niya, buhay na buhay po. Okay, two years na po siya. So this, ayan, naka 5% siya. So, paiba-iba po ang profit. Okay, these are manual traders. Hindi po sila EA. Okay, so yung trades nito, okay, 1 million yung equity niya, 1 million pesos, at ikaw magpa-participate lang ng 25,000. Siyempre naman yung 1 million pesos niya, hindi niya ipapatalo. Okay? What more pen 25,000 mo kung siya naman yung kakapi mo. Okay? So averages 26% per month since he started 2 years na. Okay? Daily average 0.78%. Okay? Ganun po mag-trade kapag malaki po yung equity or pera mo. Hindi po nire-risk yung pera mo para mawala dito. Okay? Kailangan alagaan yung capital mo at palakihin to over time. Okay? Kaya ka nag forex trading eh kasi nga hindi ka na, hindi mo na nakukuha ang interest na gusto mo sa banko. How much are you earning in the bank? Wala pang 1%, 0.00% lang every month. Okay? So ito po yung average niya 0.52 daily profit, okay, in this month, okay, July. Ayun nakita nyo yung trading history niya. Okay. Sa account niya mismo, ha, ito na lot size niya, 0.1 lot size, 0.2. Hanggang ganyan lang po yung lots niya. Hindi po siya nagre-risk na malaki. Okay? So, capit number 3, okay, kumita na rin siya, malapit na rin siya mag 1 million yung profit niya. Okay? Ang drawdown niya, napakababa, 20%. Di sabihin, since he started 2017, September, until now, hindi po na-risk yung more than 20% ng pera. Diba? Kasi yung iba, nagdo-drawdown ng 50%, 80% drawdown, nakakatakot. Diba? Mag nag-drawdown ka ng ganun. Ayan po. So, since 2018 until now, okay, there, there's not a single month that he lost. There are months na konti ang profit but still positive. Okay? So, dito sa forex trading, hindi po pabilisan po kumita ng pera. It is patagalan po na matalo ka. Kasi once na natalo ka, I'm sure you will quit. Okay? E ayaw namin mangyari yon. Gusto namin, mag-trade ka na dito sa Tickmill. Dumami yung account mo. Okay? Maging, maging primary source of income mo ang forex trading. Yun ang gusto namin mangyari. 
sa iyo. Okay, so ito this month naka 8% na po siya. Ang equity niya is $4,900 or about 250,000 pesos at ikaw magpa-participate lang ng 25,000, okay? Minimum, but you can add if you want. So it averages 0.09 to 1.1% daily this month of July. Okay? So copy trade ng copy millionaire 4. Okay? Another human trader na kumita na po more than 2 million pesos sa forex trading. Ang drawdown niya mas maliit. Okay? Ibig sabihin, mas safe pa siya. 15% lang po ng risk niya since to April 28, 19. Until now, there has not a month that he lost in trading. Diba? So very professional at napakagaling na trader kapag ganito po nakita 30% per month consistent. Okay? Eh, nako, kung sa mga ibang napatrade namin noon, eh, ilang buwan lang, 2 months, 3 months, kumita kami tapos napatalo na yung account. Ito po, more, more than 1 year. Okay? Earning 25 to 30%, 35% per month. Okay? Or average lead, 27.99%. So, magkano ba yun? Kung 30%, 100,000, 30% ng 100,000 is 30,000 pesos. Diba? Malaking bagay na po yun. Naglagay ka ng 100,000 and you earn 30,000 pesos in forex trading without doing nothing. Okay? Ayan, so it average 0.08% to 1.8%. Ito po yung trading history niya. Nagre-raise lang po siya ng lot size ng 0.2 to 0.25 lot size. Doon sa equity niya po. Okay? So ayan po, latest trade niya since last week. Okay? Buong July. Naka-withdraw na rin po siya. Okay? 3,700 US dollar. Okay? So copy trade. Hello? Yes, sorry. Um, if if I may add po, um, actually maganda for for EA na nakikita ko, maganda siya kasi hindi siya greedy. One uh, percent or less than one percent per day is or is okay na, kasi nga um, kapag kanila kaya naman natin, don kasi yung nagsimula sabi mo nga di ba after few months na nanalo tapos pagka biglang oh, oh, sayang po, oh, po. Oh, po. magkukuit po sila, magkukuit oh, po oh. talaga. Oh, isabi nila na na wala ang nangyari sa akin sa forex trading. Akala ko ba, kikita tayo na malaki, pero hindi. Exactly. Diba? Mm -hmm. exactly. And na-mention ko rin before na ang dami sa mga Pilipino ang naloko na, whether it's forex o mga networking. Mm -hmm. And this this type of um, copy trade is actually good kasi di ba, yung makabawi man, la man lang sila dun sa natalo nila before. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. To think na, I, I've, I've To be honest, na marami na ako na kausap na EA providers. A lot of them, they would ask for a fee or profit sharing. Pero ito po sa sa ting mga na nagattend today, we're very lucky na hindi greedy si Sir Alex. They don't, he doesn't want yung profit sharing. Very simple lang, just link yung account sa IB niya, and you can start copying. Hindi po kailangan na kapag kumita kayo ay Bigyan nyo siya. Pwede naman. Oo. Nagtitrade ako ng Forex tapos maniningil pa ako ng professional fee. E di, ang ano ko rin nun, bakit pa, ano, baka mabaisipin is doon ako kumikita sa mga trading courses ko. Di ba? E kumikita rin naman ako sa sarili kong account. Ganon. Okay. So, let us continue. So, this is the last strategy. Okay. Copy trade number five. So, ito po, wala pa po siyang 6 months na nagtitrade, pero tingnan mo po yung gains niya. Mataas po. Kasi may, may mga trader tayo na mataas yung kanilang risk appetite. Pwede po nila dito ilagay yung $500 nila. Okay? Siyempre, you're, you're targeting 100% a month gain. Okay? So, yung equity mo rin dito, pwede rin ma-erase ng trader. Okay? So, ayan po yung trading history. Okay? Malaki po yung account. Okay? Naka-withdraw na rin real account. Ayan po yung MT4 report. So, ang win rate niya 60%. Okay? Nag-hedge kasi siya. So, ibig sabihin, pag may losing position, nag-open siya ng another trade. So, ito yung summary ng aking copy trade sa inyo. So, limang account. Kung medyo may budget kayo, may meron kayong 100,000 or 120,000, makukompleto nyo na yung copy trade. Ikpa-500 dollar. Okay? 
So I teach people or my traders, investors that way. Why? Para may diversify po yung risk. There's no such thing as guaranteed return or safe ba yung pera ko kahit copy trade yan. Okay? We, have, we still have to diversify our money. Don't put your eggs in one basket nga. Okay? So kailangan marami ka pong accounts. Okay? Bakit mayaman si SM? Dahil marami siyang SM malls in different parts of the country. Bakit mayaman si Jollibee? Dahil marami po siyang branches. So we can also do that principle in forex trading. Okay? Multiple passive income, multiple accounts. Okay? At least if you, you lost in one account or may, may nag-incur ng loss, the other accounts are profitable. Okay? So ganyan po ako magturo ng risk management kapag nagpapa-copy trade or EA. Huwag mo ilalagay ang 200,000 sa isang strategy or EA. Paano pa may nangyari doon or hindi niya, hindi niya na foresee yung market condition na mag-iiba? Right? So this is this is are the forecast kung one, one account ka lang ginamit more 25,000 kapag nag-start ka or this July ngan ay mag-August na okay so 6 months yung forecast by December 44,925,000 mo at 10% per month okay compounding okay yan po ang sekreto ng mga mayaman hindi po nila kukunin yung kita nila dun sa investment nila papalakihin at papalakihin ito okay kasi hindi mo na mababalik okay yung past. Okay? So kaya kailangan mas maaga mag-invest ka na maaga. Tapos medyo nilakihan mo para by that time ng December medyo malaki yung return. Mararamdaman mo talaga. Okay? Lalo na pag nang multiple accounts ka, okay 76,000 magiging 125,000 by December at 10% lang 'yon. Okay? So what more pag 20%, ito yung mangyayari sa iyo. At least mga doble na siya after 6 months. Okay? So sabihin niyo ma 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 mabilis na ba 'yon? Of course, 6 months, doble na yung pera mo. Okay? Walang ibang walang traditional business ngayon na kayang gawin 'yon. Magtayo ka ngayon ng sari-sari store, ewan ko lang kung mabawi mo siya in 6 months. Magtayo ka ng restaurant ngayon, mababawi mo in 6 months o mabubuo ma ma mo yung pinuhunan mo. I don't think so kasi social distancing ngayon. Okay? Retail, magtinda-tinda ka. Wala lumalabas ngayon. Mahina ang retail. Okay? So lahat ngayon is pupunta na ng online. And we, we, we really never know or that these times are very uncertain. Dahil wala pang vaccine and we don't know if magkakaroon. Okay? So we kailangan we, we adjust to the situation. Ano ba pwede kong pagkakitaan during pandemic na hindi maapektuhan, okay? Or magkakaroon pa rin ako ng income in return kahit pandemic. And in, in return also, hindi ka rin lalabas kasi risky lumabas ngayon. Pag nagka-COVID ka nga daw, pwede kang gumastos ng 700,000 or more sa hospital. Okay? So it's very risky to go outside right now. Okay? Ang misis ko po is a doctor. So kahit eh, siyempre kailangan niya nandun mismo sa mga pasyente niya pa nang chichik, natatakot nga siya baka may COVID yung mga pasyente niya. So it's very risky. Okay? Kung natin yung nare-riskyan kayo sa forex trading, eh mas risky lumabas. Ngayon, risky po lumabas. So I want to start. So this is what you will do after the webinar or uh, next week, next month if you decided to invest in an EA or in a copy trade account. Okay? For in EA, kailangan is a pro account. So, Tickmill has pro account. You make commission. For the copy trade, it's okay to open a standard account. Okay? Minimum, require, minimum deposit requirement is only $500. Alam nyo ba yung $500 sa mga first world country? Okay? Ang pinakamaliit, sigurong kaya nilang invest $5,000 US dollars sa forex trading. Okay? Ganun po mag-invest sa mga first world. Kaya dito sa atin, yung $100, $500, baka pagtawanan lang tayo nila. Okay? $1,000. Napakaliit po niyang investment sa Forex. They go for 5K USD, 10K, 20K USD. Napakadali po sa kanila yan. Okay? So, webinar summary. Your part is to create an account with TickMill. Okay? Prepare your money. And I have you to let assign an LPOA contract that you, your account will be traded by an EA or a copy trade. Okay? And then wait for your profits to come in. Okay? 
So, ang maganda dito, you can quit anytime. You, if you need the, need the money, you can quit, pull out the money, it's fine. Okay? So, my job is to connect your account to a strategy, whatever you have chosen, an EA or a copy trade strategy, and I can provide you new strategies. Okay? Kasi dito sa Forex trading, there is no competition. Okay? Kapwa trader po is nang tutulungan po dito. Kahit ibang broker, broker to broker nang tutulungan. Okay? Maliit lang po yung Forex industry dito sa Philippines, magkakakilala lang kami. Okay? Provide training for those who will buy a software. Kung gusto nyo maging katulad ko, titraining ko kayo, katulad na nangyari sa akin, dati estudyante lang ako, ngayon nagtuturo na. Okay? Pwede nyo rin po itong gawing business in the future. Okay? So again, like my page to uh, see my uh, motivation about Forex trading. Okay? And ayan. So you can email me also if you want to contact me. Okay? Ayan. So, are there any questions? Sa ating participants. So, mga 10 participants nandito. Meron po ba kayong uh, questions or clarifications about um, the training, about Forex and about uh, expert advisor. When ito po, 24/7 po ba ang assistance? Uh, Sir Frank, sa ano po to? Sa EA or uh, oh, okay. Monday to Friday. Yes, ako po Monday to Friday. Sa Tikmil naman po, uh, mayroon tayong live chat. Ako kahit weekend sumasagot basta available naman. And uh, nice presentation. Thank you, Sir Dan. Hopefully, makapag-start ka din ng EA bukod sa manual trading mo. I, I think that's it. Thank yes. you, Miss Chris. Thank uh, you, everyone. Thank you, Sir Alex. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, let's uh, hopefully ma makapag-start tayo. Meron po tayong group chat uh, for Tickmill uh, clients. You can... Uh, let me know. Message nyo lang ako para ma-add ko kayo and uh, ma-update din kayo sa mga bago. And um, tungkol din sa EA, nandun si Sir Alex, uh, sumasagot din siya ng mga questions from uh, clients about EA. All right. Thank you po ulit and uh, ingat po tayong lahat sa virus. Hopefully magkaroon na ng vaccine very soon.